guys welcome back uh it is almost october can you believe it 2020 uh kind of flew by man i don't know if it was the quarantine if it was the uh riots if it was just all the bullshit wrapped up into one movies being delayed so on and so forth but man it feels like this year flew by really quick and i mean i'd rather it go by quick than slow through this bullshit but anyways today we got some myers action for you let's get started sculpts in the shot well i look if you tuned into the live stream of me painting the quarter scale h2 warlock um i'm just going to give you an update on that later on in the video and then uh you know i have my h40 that i did that i painted by saunders studios these are all actually from saunders studios so this is the h40 right here it's already done painted this is the updated v3 uh, that Saunders Studios did. And then what I'm going to put on one of these bodies is the Saunders Studios True H40, which is what the 1978 mask looks like today. And it's just kind of like a concept, right? So one of these bodies will have that head sculpt on it. But I'm hoping that this body, once I dress this up, gives me the look that I'm looking for um, and goes together good. If it does, then I'm gonna order another one and put it on this body right here. So I'm gonna go for a second, I'll be right back and the figure will be dressed. I might even show some uh, progress while doing it. Uh, so before I do the little unbagging here, this is them. This is with the Certificate of Authenticity. You can see 16 Fly Presents Halloween Coveralls by Yunsel. She is a wizard in the game, trust me. You see their Tory box. She got the undershirt, which is real nice that she includes it with the coveralls. Uh, this is the previous Certificate of Authenticity. You can see Halloween Coveralls by Yunsel. This is the final run. I don't know if these, I don't know if these were before the actual final run or if he just got her to do an updated run. I, you know, I'm, I don't really know. I don't really care. I'm just happy that I was able to get another pair. So, and then they're doing a Halloween two run of coveralls for the warlock. So that'll be dope. So yeah, uh, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and crack these open and get started. It's real nice how this um doesn't have there's like that is i i don't i think this is from it like sitting flat and maybe the zipper the magnets laying against it it's not it looks like there's white marks all over it but it's really not like you get up close it's just like because it's been pressed in so i don't know um so yeah you get the uh sleeveless under undershirt which obviously wasn't sleeveless in the movie but this is to help articulation and so on and so forth. And plus you just need this part to show. I might actually weather this down the road or stretch it out because the shirt was stretched in the movie. And then you get the perfected set of cover. Also, you can see there's a bullet hole in his sleeve right there. You get magnets as buttons right here. So you can see that magnets connects magnets. I said it magnets, it's magnetic. I'm gonna get that second one if I can. <laughs> it's so tiny, it's tedious. Yeah, there you go. So you got the little clasps or buttons on the uh, sleeves there. And then you get this right here, which I don't believe. Oh, that might be a button, I don't know. Is there one on this side? No. Uh, and then toy box right there on the back here. You can see a bullet hole. Very nice. And there's that bullet hole right there. And I mean, look at look at the stitch work, right? Like, it's, I mean, it's spot on, dude. It's damn near perfect, looks great. So we're going to unzip, and yes, he does have an actual real working zipper. So take that, zips down like so. We're gonna go ahead and get our figure in there and I'll be right back. All right, so the t-shirt, I don't know, man. It looks, it looks good. I think it, this is a, it's a little bigger on him, which is kind of what I wanted. Um, I don't know. I don't, it, it's hard to explain, but anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and I might not be able to do this on camera because I want to get it just right. And I don't want the, I mean, look, do I got to dress a doll on camera? You guys get the gist of it. You know how to do this. Okay. So I put the coveralls on the body. Uh, that's the one on the left. And then I swapped the head sculpt. There's a few things I want to do. Um, one of the things is like, you see the right pant leg on the new coveralls. Um, the figure on the left, 
it's really wrinkled and that's from trying to get the boots on and lacing them up and so on and so forth that'll happen uh you can steam that so if you got a steamer or if you don't have a steamer you can boil some water get uh a pan that has a lid with the little uh, ring in the middle of it in the center the little hole and when steam starts blowing through that uh, put the coveralls over it and it'll actually take that out that's also a really good way to um what you want to do when you get coveralls like that as you see the one on the right you can see i've um, gone around it and actually put creases and folds where i wanted them to be you can do that with the coveralls some steam a little bit of water uh wet the coveralls in certain places and start to like form fit them if that makes any sense uh, i also put a bunch of creases uh by the elbow area and stuff like that on these coveralls and i gotta say this setup right here it actually looks really really good with the sculpt on it because it looks a little more worn um a little older compared to the one on the left the one on the left a lot of people would think that uh it's really baggy that this body doesn't fit the coveralls good but if you look at nick castle from 1978 when he had these coveralls on he was those were swimming on him man they he was a real tall lengthy scrawny guy and that's how the coverall sat on him now maybe uh it was a little bit tweaked but i can do that like i said with a little bit of steam a little bit of water i can get folds and creases and kind of form the coveralls to the body but for the most part this is pretty damn accurate and like you know his his hands were barely coming out of the sleeves as you can see the one on the right the hands come all the way out of the sleeves the sleeves are around his wrist so uh there's definitely some differences here but i think saunders studios true age 40 sculpt looks absolutely amazing with this setup on the right and i really like this body uh on the left because you got the double jointed elbows um and i just think it also it stands a lot better the, the ankles aren't as weak as they were on the one on the right so i definitely ordered another one and um at any time if i want i can exchange this one out on the right but i like how it's a little bit shorter and it looks a little bit more worn because it's supposed to be you know the, the 40 years later you know it's supposed to be old man michael and uh obviously this sculpt on the right here is supposed to be you know the original mask in its true form today you know it's all deteriorated uh, and the latex is all worn and uh so on and so forth and he did a great job at bringing that out with the sculpt you know he it, it's a badass concept piece to say the least so i'm happy with these two setups man i really really like how this is looking so far yeah nick castle was pretty um he's pretty scrawny man you know i mean he was tall and lengthy but he was also very scrawny and that's what i really like how this body brings that out you know it, i feel like the coveralls fit just perfectly on there now you could use with some creases and the elbows there and then like some folds in areas you know obviously like you pull this down and then you can see how you have this goes like that now how to make that stay is you can wet this whole area right just tap some water on there even take a paintbrush and brush it on and then fold it not fold it but Pull it down to create the folds and everything you want. On this side, I have a bunch of unnecessary creasing, and that's because I was pulling it up to get the boot on. So I'm actually going to have to take these off um, to paint the neck area. So I'm going to leave it like this for now. I'm not going to steam it or anything like that. Once I get the neck painted, I get the hand. I, and I was going to paint the hands, but these hands, they're pretty good. However, I know I could paint them and make them better. And that goes for the same for this. Now, since this looks so good, I ordered another body. It's only $32, and I've already shown it on my Instagram and a couple big Myers collectors in the community, and they're getting rid of their JX body, which is this, to go with this because of the fit. You know, it looks a lot more accurate to Nick Castle in the, in the 78 film, and that's in, that's in my opinion. You know, for you, you might like the banner body look, which is very form-fitting, and it does give him a really slick... Uh, sleek look but i think this does too you know i really like the way that this looks i think it's very very nice but uh it's all about preference man uh, i think for me i wanted something that was cost effective but still looked really really good and i i gotta say i'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with this uh, sometimes you just gotta kind of you know try different things out and see how it works for you luckily these bodies aren't too expensive i mean anywhere from 20 to 50 bucks for one of these bodies now if you're getting into like hot toys true types you're talking more like 120 to 
up to like 200 or 300 dollars um so i mean you could go that route you're gonna have a really nice body very good quality but it looks like world boxes a uh, big thing that they advertise i feel like i'm being shaky if i'm being shaky i apologize one thing they advertise is crazy durable you know so they really uh take pride in the quality of their product and so far like i said taking this guy out uh, the body felt great. So I got something to show this real quick. This is a stand I got, right? I'm going to go ahead and come down a little bit. So I got this stand off eBay. <laughs> I remember some asshole telling me, I mean, it's all right. It's kind of lackluster. Whatever, dude. <laughs> you know, like, I plan on making a custom one um, at some point. Like, I want to make a porch scene or something, but... Just for like a regular base. I thought it was pretty dope. I found that on eBay. And I actually got two of them. Because I didn't know which one I would want to use at the time. But now what I can do is. I, I bought two. And I can use the other one. And I think this. Yeah this one says Michael Myers too. For some reason I thought it said the Boogeyman. But it's just another regular stand. So this is how I'll have them uh, set up. Like obviously this is the Halloween uh four and five box art right i mean actually i, I don't know is it yeah yeah it is i think okay so i dropped the light down you can just see uh the bottom of his eyelids peeking through which uh quick note that's one thing i loved with the 2018 mask is when you did see through the dark eye holes in the movie you could see the flesh and it it just gives you that airy feeling because you're not seeing their eyes you're just seeing the bottom of the lids and there's something freaky about that you know what i mean because you're not making that connection you know a lot of connection when talking to somebody is through their eyes when looking them in the eyes and when you can't do that it's really hard to feel like you're making any sort of connection um with that being if you will and that's uh i guess that's one of the cool airy things about michael myers uh despite you know of course the uh dark eye holes which is something you associate with michael myers like the mad bug for example right to the left here you barely see um the flesh tone in those eye holes and like see if i bring the light up just a little bit they're pitch black and the reason that is as well th this is two different sculptors right uh the person that sculpted the mad bug i believe is uh spook i could be getting that wrong i'm not sure uh he kind of dropped off the face of the earth and isn't really well known except for his Myers sculpts. I believe, I could be completely wrong, but I believe his name is Spook. Uh, the person that sculpted the True Ace 40 is Sonder Studios, Yandu Chino. Um, and with the Mad Bug, the eye holes are really far back into the sculpt. Uh, with his, they're right up against the mask. And that's kind of a theme with his sculpts a lot of times is that the eyes are right up against the mask, which is pretty accurate uh, depending on the mask that you're wearing. If you're wearing a Myers mask, you'll know uh, a lot of times your uh, face is close to the butt of the mask where the eye holes will line up. So I like what he did here. And as well, you know, when, when 2018, the 2018 Halloween movie was announced and we finally saw the Myers mask, a lot of people were upset. They wanted them to use the original mask even if it looked like this, which is technically the true age 40. And I was thinking like, <laughs> there's no way that that would work. Like the mask is all deteriorated. These people are just being unreasonable. But when Yandu made this and I saw it, I was like, dude, there's something there like that. That would have worked. I, I love uh, the little cracks all around the mask, around the eye holes. Um, if we really get up on this guy, you can see like the fold. It looks like the mask is essentially drooping down, right? You got the pinhole needle, which has essentially um, grown out from deteriorating. From Well, from deteriorating, the hole has gotten bigger, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. You can see all these little cracks, which I would usually say that's painted on. But I wouldn't doubt that that's actually sculpted. Like the crack right here, I would assume that's actually sculpted. Uh, with his H40 mask, or sculpt, which I'll bring up here real quick to kind of give an example. He got so many of the details in this sculpt. And the only way to do that is if you have a really 
thin, thin needle. Uh, he is a tattoo artist, so it's very possible that he has access to thinner needles and so on and so forth. And he got all those details. I mean, he nailed uh, this sculpt for the H40 mask. Um, so I don't doubt that uh, these features are actually sculpted on. But yeah, I think this would have definitely worked because even when you kick the light up and it's darker in those eye holes, that just, it looks so fucking sinister. And when we come up close, right, let's get a look at the eyes here. You can see he's got that dead eye in there, just like James Drew Courtney. And then you got the other eye right there and he did a great job with the eye work on this the sculpt work is superb even behind this kicked out lip right here you can see his actual lip and chin in there <laughs> which is really really cool i love all the folds i love the drooping uh the detail right here how it's uh deteriorating amazing the ears are a little bit elongated uh you have the glue line still on there which is pretty neat gotta say uh, i love the area right here uh, obviously this side's starting to cave in towards the eyebrow right there this side of the eye is kicked out really really nice really dope detail and then this right here it's cracked up through there and then even on the back of the mask as well and this is just dope this is why i wanted to put this figure together with the yunsel coveralls as a 78 myers because assume he comes back with the same coveralls you know or whatever something similar and you he had that 78 look but with this mask i just think there's something there and that really would have worked for halloween uh 2018 but obviously we didn't get that and i love the 2018 mask don't get me wrong i absolutely love it but for my shelf for my collection i wanted to have this because it's super unique it's not something that everybody has there was only 10 of these sculpts made and uh, he's since destroyed uh, the mold, so there won't be any more. And I'm just very, very thankful uh, to have it a part of my collection, as I am uh, with a Mad Bug. You know, I wanted a Mad Bug forever. But yeah, it's just a blessing to be able to get another set of coveralls and have two uh, Meyer figures set up with the Yonsel coveralls because they're a thing of beauty within themselves. Right, in closing, uh, I just want to say... This uh, this is the next day, right? And I'm doing a couple things right now. I'm working on this H40 V3 head sculpt from uh, Sonder Studios. This was the previous one right there. Uh, and I showed that that's all over my Instagram. Uh, I've showed photos, so on and so forth. With this new one, I'm actually looking on Sean Clark's YouTube channel, uh, Malfunk Sean. Uh, Sean Clark, if you don't know who that is, he does the podcast with Chris Nelson. Chris Nelson actually sculpted the H40 mask in Halloween 2018 uh, and kills and uh, eventually ends, right? Uh, Chris Nelson. So he does that podcast and uh, he actually went to Nick Castle's house and looked at Nick Castle's mask, did a close up on it, like really good shots, right? So what I'm doing is um, right now, I am just washing in the details, right? So I'm essentially putting paint on and wiping it away. And what that's doing by doing it over and over and over and over is bringing it out all the cracks and crevices and little by little filling color in to those cracks and crevices so that they stand out. I'm taking a different approach. When I started with this one to the right, I started with a real dark color. This is some black, some brown, and some white mixed together. And uh, that color is actually a trend on this mask. Uh, not a trend, but a, uh, like a pattern. They use it quite a bit around uh, the neck of the mask, around the ears, temples, uh, some on the cheeks. It's just, it's spread throughout the mask quite a bit. Now, uh, as promised, this is my warlock right here, okay? So he is basically done eyes are done and um i just need to hair him little by little i find little shit that i want to go back and touch up and so on and so forth i was gonna redo the eyes but you know what i'm gonna keep the eyes because to me they look pretty damn good and uh i'm happy with this overall i really am happy with it it was a really fun sculpt to paint and i won't lie to you man this is something that people need to understand i i wiped this thing clean three or four times before this final paint job. What do I mean? I mean, I stripped the paint completely. I, I, I stripped it off. Uh, with this sculpt right here, 
trying to take a new route and I really want this one to turn out amazing. Uh, I wiped the paint off this so far two times because I jumped into it. I didn't take my time and I got to a point where I could have kept going, but the end result wouldn't be what I want, right? And you never want to get to that point when you're painting. You want to be proud of what you created, what you um, came up with, essentially. And uh, that's kind of how I felt with this Halloween 2 Warlock. But as of right now, I'm super stoked with the results, man. I, 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 pour, I put my my heart and soul into this blood sweat and tears baby uh, not really not like that but i mean i had a lot of fun doing it and um i can't wait to hear it and show you guys listen i hope you enjoyed uh the coveralls and the update since putting this on instagram and one six fly that's the only custom group i'm a part of on facebook um it's gotten a really good response uh, I mean, to the point where Michael Magnus himself is saying that he's going to pick up one of these bodies. I mean, I, I, when when Magnus says that, it, you know, that kind of means like, you know, it's it, it's a good find, right? It's a good find. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, just, I was just looking online for bodies and everybody's crazy about the Bruce Banner body. And if you look like to the right, this figure on the right, it kind of has, it kind of looks like the Bruce Banner body, right? Um... And the thing about it is, it looks cool, it looks form-fitting, but is it accurate to the movie? Now, maybe you don't care about accuracy at all. For instance, on this figure right here, the boots, they're not accurate. The boots are more accurate on this figure, and those aren't even completely accurate. It's the same boot that he essentially wears in the movie, but the way that the, um, the lace holders, they're very close together right on the boots in the movie and if you get the platoon hot toys boots directly off the platoon hot toys figure those are dead on to how myers had his boots in the 78 film they're not supposed to be that uh, wide between the uh, lace holders right there but for me i think it looks great and until i can get those platoon boots because trust me once they go up uh somebody finds them right away and they're gone so that's that's just something that you have to continue to look for throughout time and eventually you get it and eventually you know it's all about the hunt man and putting this figure together i feel like you know uh so yeah i uh i don't know man i really hope you enjoy the content i believe there's more myers stuff to come i'm gonna try to come up with myers content for october maybe we can talk about halloween i can do uh my top favorite halloween movies i can do the masks in order worst to best i can do the halloween movies from worst to best we can talk about my favorite uh actor that portrayed michael myers so on and so forth if you want to see content like that let me know in the comment section below and follow me on instagram and i can't stress this enough i am on instagram 24 7 365 and and i might add there's at least eight hours a week of additional content just from my story, man, because everything I do, everywhere I go, everywhere I move, I, I add to my story and talk. Like, I'm always on my story to the point where some people, they can't stand it, but that's them. I also have a lot of people that hit me up and they're like, Dude, don't, whatever you do, don't stop your stories because I look forward to it daily. So, it is what it is. Uh, I will say, officially, an update. For the Tramer conversion, I was waiting for uh, a dipshit because this guy's a dipshit I'm, I'm done being nice about it this guy uh i was supposed to send this to him so that he could cast a mold and he could make the copies for me well i've i it's been like i'll hear from this guy then i won't hear from him for like a month two months uh, and then he'll say yep yep i'm almost ready for you to send it uh blah 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 i'm i'm done doing that so i am buying this stuff to cast the mold myself and make uh the copies and for the weight, as you can see, there's a little ball right here. I'm going to root hair on every single one. So if you bought this uh, Tramer conversion from me, uh, I'm going to root the hair on it myself. And obviously, it's hand-painted. It's going to be painted by me as well. So uh, I hope that helps. Sorry for the weight. Uh, I'm working on... Uh, I just... I had the kit to cast the mold. I'm just working on getting uh, materials for it, which I just got to wait for it in the mail i'd really love to have these out to everybody uh before halloween like that that's my goal uh, i didn't even want it to take this long 
But, um, you know, it is, it is what it is. The world kind of turned upside down and took a shit on everybody. Unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, this clip itself is at 7 minutes and 39 seconds. And I know all the other previously recorded content is... This video is going to be super long. So, forgive me. Anyways, guys, if you made it this far in the video, please... Smash the thumbs up for your boy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comment section below, which setup do you like better? Coveralls wise, do you like the more accurate look with the baggy pant legs, uh, baggy around his torso, around the arms? Do you like that baggy look? That's more accurate to Nick Castle. Or do you like the real form fitting look? A lot of people love this look, including myself. I think it looks really, really nice. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, guys, my name is Dan. I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe out there.